Hey, hey everybody, out on YouTube, behind me is the 2019 GMC Sierra Denali 1500 6.2 liter V8 4x4. The truck is unbelievable. First year of this edition. Let's go check it out. So they have two models of the Sierra Denali, the Denali Base, which is a 5.3 liter V8, and the Denali Premium or Limited, which is this one behind me. Huge difference in the window sticker. Just to begin with, we'll go to the window sticker. This truck has a window sticker price of $67,000, which is almost unaffordable to the average person, unless you're leasing this car, and even the lease payment is gonna be insane. 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8, 10 speed automatic transmission. For $67,000, you do get a three year, 36,000 mile warranty though, so at least they, get, they have enough faith in their vehicle to last three years. You'll see here just a Sierra Low base price is 31,000, that's for your base truck. Then we go to the Sierra Low Denali base price at 56,000. You wanna add some of the premium upgrades like 22 inch wheels, 6.2 liter V8, it climbs up to $67,000. One of the better features of the 19 Denali is this tailgate, whole redesign of the tailgate. Can you show me how it works? Yeah, so six unique positions. This is our full width step position. Assist handle. So from here, I can I can fold in my step. And this is my easy access position. So I have easier access to the bed of the truck, with any cargo I might have in the truck. I have easier access to the tie downs. So I want to go out right there. Okay, so from there, I'm going to drop our assistance handle. I'm going to lift up on the gate. And this is our, uh, our workstation position. So, the laptop architectural plans, video games, uh, whatever the case may be, the world is now your off uh, uh Step now becomes a load stop in this position. Cargo from sliding out of the bed. Now, you can also, when I put it, when I drop it like this, the cargo stop actually functions in this position as well. This would be more for things like plywood or sheet rock. And then with the touch of one button here, back to the uh, full width step position. So six unique wow. positions to help you live, work, and play like a So this upgraded step and tailgate only comes standard in certain vehicles. It is not an upgrade for a base model? Correct, yeah. You need to do it in the, in the Denali, the SLT, or the AT4. Only those three models. It comes standard in all three of them. Thanks a lot. Headlights, whole front end, grill, everything has changed, I think, for the better. What do you guys think? Going over the wheels is still rocking 22 inch wheels. Even with the premium Denali, it looks like they got rid of their retractable side steps and went with the standard steps, which I would prefer actually because every time I've had the retractable steps, they get stuck. So I was completely mistaken by this standard step. I thought it was a stationary step because it looked like my exact 14 Denali step. Watch when this door opens. It's a full size retractable step with different positioning based on the older Sierras. It's not based on the older Sierras. We'll see right here, it's a different it's a different setup. It works as a crossbar positioning instead of just two levers down at the bottom. It does still have the side steps on the bumper, which they got rid of for a few years and put back. That originally came on the Avalanche, and then they started to put them on all the Sierras, which was a huge upgrade for the truck bed. Made it so much easier for you to get into the vehicle. The back seats this has like a mocha leather this seat comes down oh wow storage compartment in the back seat and then obviously we have that center console here too with the cup holders full-size rear floor mats each seat individually folds up with no lever needed and then the front of the cab interior has been completely redesigned as well obviously still has the Denali embossed headrest Full Uconnect display. So much going on here though. This will take a little while to learn. Obviously, as everyone recommended in my Escalade, you need to read the service manual. We have the air-conditioned seats still, the backrest heated seats, and the full heated seats. The steering wheel looks similar to my old Denali, but the dash has been completely redesigned. Hey, so that's the brand new 2019 GMC Yukon Denali. You can see my son in the background say hello. Hi. Listen guys, these videos are going to be a little bit shorter because there's so many cars to get through in just one day, so I'm trying to cut it down to five minutes per video. That's the 19 Denali with the window sticker of how much? Like 
like $67,000. Is that worth it? Is it worth the upgrade? Would you prefer an F-150 over the 19 Denali's? Is that too much for a new truck anyway? Or is it worth all the power, all the punch, and all the luxury in that car right there? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about that new truck.